Good afternoon from my side. Thank you for joining my presentation, Resists and uh, Codings. That's me, not the turtle, the name. I'm uh, the product manager for the Resist program at Kissel and Wolf. And uh, today I want to talk about our new um, product family with the name Resist and Codings. Screen printers know Kivo as a leading supplier of chemicals for stencil making and cleaning. Even when we talking about uh, screen printable, pressure sensitive adhesives, we talking about Kivo products. Today I, liked, I would like to introduce you our new product family, Resists and Coatings. In the next few minutes I'm talking about application methods and, some, and show you some application examples. The first question is, what is a resist? The origin comes from the Latin and our definition, the Kivo resists and coatings are high or medium viscosity coating medias for all over or partial coating of surfaces. The coating, the coated areas protect the surface during further working steps like uh, cutting, drilling, punching or uh, further surface treatment like uh, sandblasting, brushing, etching or some uh, coating processes or simple as a, as a transport protection. The resist can easily be removed either by peeling or with a special cleaning chemical. We can, we can distinguish between two different systems. The first one is an uh, all over protection. We also call it liquid protective film. It can be applied by screen printing, spraying, roller coating, or other application methods. Second one is a partial protection. For a partial protection, we have to create a mask that can be done with a photoresist or um, applied by a screen printable, a printable resist applied by screen printing or pad printing. <coughs> Sorry. A liquid protective film is a peel off coating. It can be applied by screen printing, spraying, roller coating, curtain coating or as, uh, dipping as well. It is to protect scratch sensitive substrates from mechanical stress or dust. After drying, you have a very elastic and easy removable film. The available products are water-based or UV curable. So the next option is resist for partial surface treatments. A liquid resist for partial surface treatment even allows masking of designs in larger quantities by means of uh, screen or pad printing or UV light imaging at relatively low costs. One example, we want to sandblast a sheet of glass and design on a sheet of glass. For that, we need a stencil which is usually consists of a blotted self-adhesive film. If you want to produce more than one piece, with the same pattern, a new stencil is required for each sheet of glass. In that case, the masking 
by screen printing or imaging by UV light is much cheaper. A photoresist has the additional advantage that each part to be produced can be personalized, for example, with a serial number. So, how it works. First, you have your uncoated substrate. Then, we have to create a mask with the resist. Then, the surface treatment can be sandblasting, etching, brushing, or uh, spatter coating. And then, we have to remove the resist, either by by peeling or with special chemicals. Now I want to show you some application uh, application um, applications. First is etching of glass. In my eyes, the finest uh, art of glass matting. The glass surface can be matted with hydrofluoric fluoride acid. Depending on the length of exposure uh, to the acid, the matting can be varied. The glass surface is matte and still transparent. To decorate glass by etching, a hydrofluoric acid resistant mask is necessary. The resist can be applied by screen or pad printing and uh, can be removed with, a special, uh, with special solvents. This application is suitable for flat and hollow glass. Next one is etching of metal surfaces. This is very common in the production of name plates or in the electronic industry to produce circuit boards or flexible conductors. The mask can, be, it can either be printed or imaged by a, by a photoresist. Another possibility is to use an edge resist for partial, partial anodizing or galvanizing on plastics or aluminium. The picture on the left is a deep drawn and in mold plastic part so that the red symbol can be backlit only the surrounding uh, plastic area has been galvani galvanized uh, gal galvanic plated so the red symbol is covered by a pad printable resist on the picture on the right is a standard anodized aluminium plate in silver. The black areas were stained in a pickling solution. The silver areas was masked with a resist and then stripped again. Sandblasting is a common method for producing matte surfaces on uh, metal or glass. Also, in this type of surface treatment, it is possible to mask certain areas with a resist in order to protect them from the sandblast corundum. This can be done either by screen printing or with a photoresist. Next application is sputter coating. Sputtering, also called sputter coating, is the removal of metal atoms in a vacuum chamber by energetic iron bombardment to coat substrate with a with the sputtered material. Partial sputtering is used in the decoration of architectural glass as well as consumer electronics. That picture you see on the left side, a glass panel which is masked with a screen printable resist. 
And on the right side is the uh, result after sputter coding and stripping the and, and stripping the resist. There is an example from um, for a um, glass facade which is sputter coated. The silver um, motif, the silver patterns are sputter coated. This is. Um, shopping center in uh, Leicester, um, UK. And this is a picture of our last project, what is what's be uh, produced with uh, our screen printable resist. You can see the, the uh, sputter coded lines there. And that uh, was a building that was a rail station in, in Southern California. And the sputter coating protect the building for, um, for, for, for heating through the sunlight. My favorite application is brushing, partial brushing of metal surfaces. This is an example of brushed aluminum surfaces for car interiors. The trend goes to designs that are created by brushing in different angles. To create this pattern, a protective resist on the aluminum can be applied by screen printing or a fully coated photoresist is imaged by UV light. After brushing, the resist can be stripped by special chemicals. Here you can see the polished aluminum plate which is covered by the resist. And this is the result. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see that. This is the result after brushing and stripping. So what's next? Now we have some new developments. First one is a inkjet compatible resist for decorative sputter coating on architectural glass. The reason is normally we make the masking by screen printing, we, but especially in architectural glass we have some limits. We have some limits in the sides. The biggest format what we can print by screen printing is 7.5 to 3.2 meters. So new, the new um, glass panels for architectural glass has a size up to 15 to 3.2 meters. So the only way to uh, create a masking is by printing uh, with a digital machine, with a digital printer. And the other new product will be an inkjet compatible resist for brushing of metal surfaces, especially for low um, lot numbers, printing runs, and, um, and prototypes. OK, that's all. Thank you very much for not falling asleep. Thank you very much.